In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the vehicle speed sensor in your Chevy truck. And if you wanna learn how to fix your vehicle, do budget restorations, troubleshoot equipment, and all sorts of other types of garage related stuff, be sure to subscribe to Midwest Garage so you don't miss anything. Now, the reason you might wanna change this out is if your ABS light is on, if your speedometer is being all goofy, or if your transmission is shifting sporadically or slipping. If you have all three of these symptoms all at once, then this is probably the culprit. The only tool that you'll need to change this out is an adjustable wrench, so it's pretty easy. It's about a five minute job. Now, you don't have to do this, of course, but I highly recommend disconnecting your battery whenever you're working with anything electrical. And since the vehicle speed sensor, or some people call it a transfer case speed sensor in these pickups, is an electrical component, you will want to disconnect the battery. So we'll just disconnect the negative side of the battery quick. And just like any other electrical component, these things will go out over time. So for the $30 that it costs for one of these, even if your truck isn't acting up, it is a good idea to replace it, especially if the truck's over 20 years old like this. Now getting underneath the truck on the driver's side, up there's your engine, there's your transmission pan, cross member, transfer case, and then that right there is your vehicle speed sensor. If you have a two-wheel drive version of this truck, then it's going to be on the passenger side of the back of the transmission. But since this is four-wheel drive, that's our speed sensor right there. And since you'll be climbing underneath the truck, I do recommend getting a pair of safety glasses or goggles, whatever, so you don't have dirt and all that stuff kind of falling into your eyes. So the first step is just pull these two tabs to release the electrical connection. Just like that, and you can set that aside. Now you'll just take your adjustable wrench and unthread this from the back of the transfer case. And it should come loose pretty easily. Just break it loose and then you're able to thread it out by hand. And as always, make sure you compare the new part to the old one. Make sure that everything's the same. And this looks good to go, so we'll go ahead and install it. And it just threads right in. And we'll tighten it down. It doesn't have to be super human tight or anything like that. But you do want to snug it up pretty good. And next we'll take our electrical connection and just plug it back in. So if you guys are having transmission issues, your ABS light is on, or maybe your transmission is just kind of slipping or it's not shifting correctly, that's definitely something that I would look into. The problem with these is they usually don't throw a code, so it's kind of tough to diagnose at times but it's definitely something you should look into and spend the $30 on this before you go ahead and spend a bunch of money on shop repairs and diagnostics and all that kind of stuff, looking for transmission problems when that might not even be the case. Now the last step is to just reconnect your battery, fire up the truck and see if it solved your problems. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to Midwest Garage and let me know down in the comments if this video helped you because that's one of my favorite things is when I get comments from subscribers letting me know that my video actually helped them out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.